All right, so we're here today um, to figure out if there is a difference between a GMO plant and a non-GMO plant in terms of the song that they sing. Every plant does have its own song, and this machine will allow us to hear their song. So we have a blind test. The, we don't know which one is the GMO and which one is not, and we are going to put hook the electrodes up to see what the difference of the song is, or perhaps maybe one of them doesn't have a song because it doesn't have an identity. That's what we're going to find out. We are going to use music of the plants, this device, to see if there is a difference in the song from GMO to non-GMO plants. We have them labeled in the back so we don't know which one is GMO and which one is non-GMO yet. So to give you a little background, Music of the Plants started in Damanhur in Italy. It's a community that wanted to share and be one with the land in all possible ways. So it grew its own food, their houses are in the trees, and they realized that the one missing element was the music that they were listening to. So they developed this box that allows us to hear the plant song, and every plant has its own song. So today we want to hear if there is a major difference in GMO versus non-GMO plants. So we're going to start with this plant, and what I'm going to do is there's an electrode here that grounds the energy, and we're going to put another electrode on the leaf, and we're going to just put a little moisture to conduct the electricity. Once the electrodes, the energy comes from the top of the leaf down to the base and the electrical currents hits, the plant decides which note it wants to spit out through this musical interface, and we will hear through the speakers what sound it is. This box has 120 different sounds, but I've set it to a nice soft piano for our ears. So here we go. And one other thing, plants do not like to perform on command, so we might have to be a little patient. So now we're just going to wait for the electrical current. And when this hits green, it means that all the currents lined up perfectly, and that's when we'll start hearing the sound. So we've done a time lapse, about four minutes, five minutes has passed and this plant hasn't made a sound yet. So we're gonna try out this plant and see if it, we're gonna switch the electrodes to see if this plant has a song. Again, my theory is if it's GMO, if it's been genetically modified, that it won't have an identity, so it won't know how to sing. That's my theory. So let's give this one a go. grounding. Okay, and here we go. We're going to wait. See if this will start to line up. So we know that this plant has a song, and we can keep rolling, and uh, we're going to switch it back now to this other plant and see now that it's heard how to sing if it will choose to sing for us, and see what that song is. So we're going to disconnect. Thank you, little plant. Thank you. Thank you. We'll go back in here. It's grounded. Yeah, then train him now. Yeah. Do that. We'll try a different leaf. 
What I did with the last one. Don't need to. That's where she knows it. What's that? This one really knows how to sing. It's been, it's had a, a lesson. It's going through the scale. It's like trying out the voice. So they both sang, so let's find out which plant was which. Want to do a zoom in? Okay. This one had to be trained. So this is our GMO plant. And this is our non-GMO plant. You can see on the labels. So we saw the two plants, um, we heard both of their songs. So I believe that every plant does have a song. And if a plant has been genetically modified, it has lost part of its identity. So it needed another plant to remind it of what the song is in its heart. Um, because we're all sentient beings and we all feel. So we heard after this plant sang that this one um, was now able to sing a song because it, it had been trained and guided. So it's beautiful. They all have a song. Sometimes we just need a little encouragement, just like anything in life.